what I've become fascinated with uh, lately is the subconscious mind. There's the conscious part where we're programming ourselves or we've been programmed and we need to be kind of actively reprogramming. And then there's the subconscious. And that's the part that makes certain opportunities invisible to us and other things very visible, something sensitive, some things totally ignored. Uh, and, and your subconscious can actually sabotage your success, I've realized. I think we're we're in the stone ages when it comes to figuring out the mysteries of the mind and how yeah. to un unlock the mind's potential. So talk no with everybody about, about that. Absolutely no question about it. You said where it can sabotage, it not only can, it does. The subconscious mind really controls the behavior. The conscious mind makes choices. Think of this for a moment. When we go to school, we gather information and they want to make sure we got the information. So they give us exams or tests. And if you pass the test, you'll end up passing the year and you get the grades and then you ultimately you get the degree. Well, we've got thousands of people graduating from universities with um, all kinds of degrees and yet they're miserable failures. You see, we gather information in our conscious mind and we store it there and that's where we go if they ask us a question to pass an exam. But that's not the part that controls our behavior. The part that controls the behavior is the subjective or the subconscious mind. And it is totally subjective. It's immoral. It does not care what you plant, but it'll express what you plant. 